We presenters here at GCN all have our favoured skills. Hank, loose cannon, never trains, but seemingly indestructible. Sai, hates cows, rides like a Trojan everywhere. Manon may not like hills, but sprints like Usain Bolt on an e-bike. I dislike hills even more than Manon, and admittedly am pretty slow, but can. What can you do? Well, I do a good draft. Sometimes you can put the power down on the flat. Either way, today I've set up a race to level the playing field. Matching bikes to each of us to see who the fastest GCM presenter really is. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, what's going on here? Here he is. Thanks for coming, everyone. Oh no. Great to have you. You've got to say, though, that you didn't need to. Riding those bikes. What do you mean? You, don't, you didn't need to bring them. You told us it was a race. I've come here to win. Race it is and win you may, but not on those bikes. Because I've designed a race with a difference, okay? Today, of course, I propose Draycott Hill. 1.9 kilometers, 11% average gradient. Any given day, I'd say, admittedly, Cy Hank, you'd probably ride away with this one. Yeah. Not me, I would win. Well, yeah, I did want to say that, but I just didn't want to give you bragging rights. But Gosh. Hank, Cy, maybe. But today, I'm matching bikes to each of your abilities. So it should be a fair race, a handicapped race. Walk this way, you'll find your bikes. Well, this is... Uh, what bike are you going to get? Balance <laughs> bike. Feel a bit nervous. I would be. Mm. What's he got? I don't know. It looks normal. Yeah. Good wheels. Look what bike that is. Oh, and um, <laughs> yeah, cheers, guys. Is that suitable for a family audience? That I'm one, not is sure it? it is. Yeah, just what I thought. <laughs> He's not fitting on that. That's absolutely ridiculous. It's absolutely massive. It's built for a freaking giant, and I'm not small. You're quite small. I'm not small. It's below average. No, I'm average. Look it up. I'm, Google. I'm average, Google. Guys, Five foot stop ten. It, I'm really tall. Did you choose? Why couldn't you just choose normal pictures? Great. <laughs> it's quite impressive that I didn't look that bad in the picture. You kind of look like a chipmunk. Oh, that really? doesn't really help. <laughs> you use your bike, though. <laughs> Oh. oh my goodness. I wasn't oh. expecting that. An e-bike, I, I could do that. It's not bad, full throttle. Ah, oh. It's a bit sick. A lot of fixing. Can, can I put this saddle down? Because, I mean, when you look at the, where the saddle should be. That is weird, isn't it? Because you're not small. I uh, know. Yeah. Well, this is going to be interesting. So, do you like your bikes? No, don't. No, I can't even ride mine. I quite like mine. Ah, there you go. I don't like the picture. Serves a purpose. <laughs> Should put us on a level playing field when we begin our race. I think well, we're ready to go. No, what are you riding? Well, I'm riding my normal bike. I don't need a what? different bike. That's not fair. Well, I'm yeah. the slowest, so you're all coming down to my nah. level. Nah, you're not that bad. I'm not the greatest. Have you had any water today? It's not like unbound, is it? I'm uh, really, really bad. Run out of water. Mouth's dry. Feel so, so ill. Ah, oh, come on. You're pretty bad there. It was 40 degrees Celsius. Oh, I'm so thirsty. I need water. Oh, I've done 80 miles of gravel. That's I can't pedal miles. anymore. You were, not when you nearly died. <laughs> you were only halfway in, weren't you? <laughs> it was like 50 k Came in. round. <laughs> I am so thirsty. Oh, here we go. <laughs> right, OK, OK. Right, let's, should we go, go get him a bike? Let's get him a bike. You yeah. go have a drink of water and get into kit, <laughs> and we'll go get your bike. Yeah, keep hydrated. I deserve that. You need to make it up this 1.9 kilometre climb. OK. Oh, but I might need a drink <laughs> halfway up. <laughs> Dry and dehydrated <laughs> as well. I forgot my right. hand cream. Come on, I want to see my bike. <laughs> Give me crap all day. Oh, he's going to get to HR, isn't he? It's a bit small, though, to be honest. I don't know what this is going to be. What's. Wait! <laughs> that size artistic drawing. Very you need funny. a haircut. Very funny. Look like Wolverine. I'll take Wolverine anyway. <laughs> oh. Ah, yeah. <laughs> 
the handlebars are by his knees. <laughs> he does it like a giant, though, doesn't he? He is a giant. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> That's too good. <laughs> not really happy about this. No, mate, you look ridiculous. Is it not your idea? Well, this is my idea, based on an eight, eight grand kid's bike. Is it a kid's bike? <laughs> it is a salmon oh. coloured kid's bike. <laughs> uh, hey, mate, Connor, before we start, mate, I don't want you to get thirsty. OK, yeah. I know what you're like. Just have a drink. Keep hydrating, mate. Very funny, but thanks, thanks a bottle. <laughs> well, I'm thirsty. Thirsty. <laughs> Sorry. This sounded like a kid who's been given the wrong size bike for Christmas. What do you mean? You do look I'm a normal that. size human being. I'm five foot ten. I'm not small. On a good day, you're five foot ten. On a normal day, you're five foot six, aren't you? Nah. <laughs> Surprised you haven't brought your running shoes, so. You're gonna need them. If I can go at 40k an hour, this bike is perfectly geared. So I'm pretty alright. I don't think you're gonna be going at that speed. The climb's behind us. Man, you're gonna struggle as well because your bike's a tank. If yeah, it's but it's e-bike! E <laughs> I know, but as we rode here, I was e kind of looking at it. It was making a funny noise, not really doing much. Yeah, I, I was pedalling along thinking, is it, is, is is it, it working? Yeah, is mm. it doing it? It's a sign you've got diamonds in your legs. Anyway, the climb is behind us, as I said. 1.9 kilometres, 11% average gradient. First one to the top wins. But I do think we should have a run-in. I think we should have a one kilometre run-in no. to the climb. Yes! No, no, no. Flat. Yeah. Yes, no, brilliant. Well, All right, may the fittest, the fastest, and generally best presenter win. That's it, there you go. All right, bring it on. Fair, fair game. Sorry, Is this really that fair? See you on the start line. Oh. Woohoo! <laughs> really, really Is this really that fair? I'm really big. I'm a borrower. <laughs> Right, serious phases, everyone. This is it. The race to decide all races. I'm a bit nervous. On my signal. Three, two. Hold on, we've got traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Give a second, let's just hold on two. Ladies and gentlemen, just hold on. Hold on two. Off this white car. Right, right. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, I'm off the gun! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, no. I'm almost at my preferred cadence. Okay. Normally I'll be freewheeling around this. Avoiding to overlap. Oh. Avoiding to overlap. That is a big gear. Okay. That is a big gear. Oh, I need to hang on to this. I'm going to block us. Oh, that's a good gap, though. Oh, hold on. <laughs> The climb begins, and Sai takes an early lead, but with gradients ramping up dramatically, his cadence drops, and Manon overtakes, putting a bit of distance between Sai and his ridiculously excessive breathing. <laughs> Don't worry, he did undergo a full cardio check before competing. First time I'm ever in, lead, in the lead in a GCN presenter race. <laughs> First time for everything. You do it. The pace is ferocious at the front. Some say this is the hardest Manon has ever gone on a bike. I've used two bars of battery already. Oh, it's so close. It really is neck and neck. Can't lose now. I reckon I've probably got time to stop and wait for them, you know. I'm not coming last! <laughs> neck and neck, on the steepest section of the climb, Hank puts down a serious attack which leaves the rest of the competition in stitches. How he propels that bike forward with such small levers is a pure miracle, but he dances ahead, creating a two-horse race at the back, fought literally on the trot. Close. I can get back on. Right. Let's 
get some speed up now. Okay, here we go. Forging ahead, Hank attempts to get aero and consolidates his lead. But with the climb levelling off, things are coming back together in dramatic style. Ah. Not since Big Mikel Indurain has a giant ever dared to dream about launching an attack so savage on such a gradient. With fear of losing so vivid, this was a time for all tall people who ever dreamed of better. A time where low door frames and poorly sized shoes don't exist. If it wasn't going to be now, it'd be never. It was time to ride that small bike in a way that had literally never been seen before. Sweet victory to my norm. Ah, oh, I feel so good. And I can't taste bread in my mouth, which is the first. Oh, it's not really the same crossing the finish line when there's no one here. No one to see my sweet victory, but oh, I will take that. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry, it's come back. With the finish in sight, proceedings had once again come together at the back. And if we've ever learned anything here at GCN, it's that one should never count out Cy Richardson. Especially if you fit a zip tie to his bike. Turning the gear, getting back up to speed, this is a comeback like no other. Do I see ever done? Ah. I think we killed him. That pretty much went according to plan. Like, I knew I had to make it count on the less steep bits, so I attacked as quickly as I could on the road at the start. And then the gradient bit, and I was really struggling even on the lower slopes. And then it was just a case of deciding when to get off and run. And uh, oh, Manon came past me like a rocket. I mean, she really did have diamonds in her legs today. And then when Hank and Connor came past me like a couple of cartoon characters, I was like, I couldn't keep a straight face. I was trying to run. And then uh, anyway, I just figured if I kept him in sight, I could get back on the bike and wind it up over the top. And uh, I mean, I feel almost like second place is as good as a win in that situation, you know. Okay, Connor? I was well hydrated. Did you, did you suffer from dehydration up there? Was that why you got off and pushed? It did get a bit dry. It was hot, actually. It just felt, felt the temperature building, but I was okay. That wasn't why you got off and pushed? So it was hard. I mean, on the lower gradients, I was able to push pretty hard bike with super light and I felt that really responsive. It was just small cranks, small bike, quite hard to pedal. So once I hit those steeper gradients, it was really hard to keep things moving. My back, pretty tight. I was yeah. starting to get worried that I might have to go back to my physio. But then once the gradient eased off, I made a quick snap decision just to jump back on the bike and sprint. Got back into second position, I believe, or went in a blur. And then I just tried to hold it. I actually thought I was going to get second. I was pretty confident. And then Sai just came past me. I am happy with third place because it's not last. And Hank was last, and that makes me happy. Yeah. How do you think Hank will be feeling knowing that he was last? Hank will be gutted that he was last. He'll be absolutely gutted. I mean, he's going to go home from this with his tail between his legs. I'm not sure what he's going to do next. That's the worry, you see, when he bounces back from something like this. He's a man, unguided missile. And talk, talk me through Manon, because obviously it was, your, uh, it was your decision on the handicaps. Did you underestimate Manon or the e-bike? I must admit I underestimated the e-bike for Manon. I thought it was going to be crapper than it was. I was hoping battery would run out halfway up, but she did manage to power on through. Admittedly, stronger, stronger than I thought. So there you go, the fittest, fastest GCN presenter, Manon. <laughs>
Did we really need a race to find that out, though? I don't think we did, yeah. actually, did we? I wish we hadn't. But slowest G7 presenter and the smallest. I don't think we needed a race to find that no. out either, did we? No. Well, but it was a lot of fun. So Third it. place, I'm happy with that. Not last, it'd been terrible to <laughs> come last. All <laughs> oh, right, well, let us know in the comment section what you thought about that race. If you'd like to see us do another one, then give it a big thumbs up in the comment section and tell us what we should be racing and where. Just, um, can I not have a fixie next time? Because I don't know, you did all right. Yeah, you did pretty well on it. Pretty there. good. Well, you, you know. can have this if you want. I'm not using it. I, th I reckon, it, if, I, if I was on LL2 and you were on the fixie, I reckon I'd have you. <laughs> oh, that's a challenge. That's a challenge. Right. He's off. See you on the next video. He's going to find a box to climb on so he can get on back on the bike. Oh, <laughs> it's okay, Hank. Yeah, let us know Hank's real size in the comment section down below.